I teach applied math and it's geared towards undergraduate and graduate level students who are interested in using scientific computation to solve problems. So it's a combination of learning how to use MATLAB, because that's the tool that we'll use for the scientific computation, and learning the algorithms that underpin various numerical approximations to mathematical equations. The students are usually either from applied mathematics, so they're undergraduates who are just interested in the interplay between mathematical and theoretical aspects of mathematics and uses of mathematics, or they come from the applied sciences or science in general, where they have very large problems that you can't do by hand. I think it's fun to get them to think about the fact that math and numerical methods in particular are everywhere in their lives. So we talk a lot about weather because that's something that I know a lot about. When people come up with predictions, they're using some sort of an algorithm to do that. And it may not be the exact algorithms that we talk about because these are very, very basic, but a lot of the more sophisticated algorithms come from this thinking. This is one of the areas in mathematics where I think you can take a lot of risks and you can try lots of things. It's sort of experimental in nature. You write a program and you see how well it does. How well does this greed approximation do? And does the, the theory actually match the reality of writing the program? And so for a lot of students, especially the mathematical ones, this is sort of surprising to them because we're really um, playing around with math, which they may or may not have seen before. It shakes them out of their comfort zone because they're used to doing things and coming up with a very clean answer and the real world is not as clean as we'd like it to be.